Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Tectonica. And I am just currently topping up the, the composers here, seeing what kind of room we had. They uh, do have increased the uh, height limit on the composers themselves. There is actually no height limit except for very top of the world. So there is some room, and I am currently building up some research, because there's a few things I want to do. Uh, I have been messing around with the monorail, and I actually had a little bit of fun with it. That uh, rail runner there is actually quite interesting. And I want to do some upgrades and have a little bit of fun with it. I have also been very, very, very busy since the last episode. Um, these guys are going to be a little while, so I'll go upstairs. So uh, I was having uh, trouble, I needless to say, with uh, this plant this plant matter frame issue, the plant fibers. So what I've done is I have completely built... Uh, a new Kindle Vine farm here, trying to keep these two threshers running, and it's sort of touch and go right now. This thing is basically at capacity, so this really should be feeding into two of these. This I'm having a trouble leaving with, like, um, unfortunately I have to use uh, the filtered, filtered inserters to remove certain things from from this process. It's taken a lot of time to... I should remove everything so we, there tends to be backlog where there will be too much extract and then it doesn't produce any more fibers or too much fibers and I run out of extract somewhere else on the line so it's sort of a touch and go and I've been trying to think of a, of a way to actually reset and set this up differently maybe I use uh, static inserters yes, static inserters on all four sides going into chests and then have the filtered arms coming out of there and going from different areas, but it's very efficient. And what it does is just pulling it out. It'd be nice if these these filtered ones actually had a stack limit. So instead of at least one, it'd do at least two. But that's big, the biggest problem right there. Like it's not a matter of getting in. Like I just got one feeding in, and it's just sitting there waiting because it's got nowhere else to go. Uh, everything else has been sort of holding up. The Atlanta sort of chugging along uh, the kindle vine has been uh, was an issue when there's too much fibers and just because this is going off the the shiver thorn was an issue too i had to sort of reset that up did i not uh yeah i did I went down here and i got a double line set up here so this is going constantly it's actually doing fairly good uh messing conveyors it's const constantly has me going and now i'm having a plant plant matter yeah, or plant Matter, yeah, plant matter issue now and again I have three extractors taking the this the buds out or the ex extract out and I've got four taking out the plant fiber and even with stack inserts going in I've got so much of this stuff and I don't know what to do with it all uh, I should probably actually replace those with stack inserts but uh, what am I missing here cooling system and processors Kindlevine Kindlevine is here should be there oh, I'm having Kindlevine issues again Alright, Kindle Vine, and give me some extract. And I should be able to make. Oh, actually. Oh, they're up so over here. This guy should be done. Yes. Uh, oh, wrong button. Uh, one of the things I've been trying to do too is uh, I actually did it with uh, these three composers here. Is I was looking at that core boost, and I figured out what this whole core clustering is. Now, in the research under science. Uh, there is core not, not core reassignment, uh, core clustering. What that is is any any cores cores that are actually in the composer, not on the the actual tower itself, are considered a cluster, and that's what actually gives me the core boost. And if we go in here, uh, it will be like the core boost on smelting. So each cluster, I'm assuming. That's for each core that's unassigned, adds 0.25% per core. And that's on, the, on that. And then same on the mining, same on the, that, and then even on the, the power. Uh, now, if I have five or six composers with 10 each, and then that's the limit now. They've decreased the limit to 10, but for some reason now it's like 11 or 12, and I think it's just because I'm using the stack. Oops stack inserts, so I'm sort of cheating the system a little bit, but uh, that might help. Uh, it's not a matter, not really helping me process uh, stuff too much, but uh, as, as I said, I was getting ready for the monorail here. I do have, oh wow, I actually have, had more room than I thought. I started with 
think I started with 30. So anyways, I want to get into the transportation here because I want to start having some fun with that, uh, the uh, rail runner. Well, one, we're going to jump higher. Oh, I have to scan that. Okay. Well, let's get some speed, shall we? Now, it wasn't too bad of a speed already, but this is doing 240%. Oh, this might be interesting. Now, I have set a uh, little point all the way over here. Uh, you do have to have the monorail terminal there for it to work, as far as I can tell. And it says for energized rails, and I think that means both ends of the rail connection actually have power. Uh, I have actually looked at this. This is actually not a bad system. Uh, what it does is it transfers stacks at 60 at a time currently with research uh, research you can go up to uh, i think so far 100 uh, max of 180 per load it'll send 180 items the problem is though is you have to load this thing load it and unload it so that is one way of saving conveyors uh definitely makes it moving a little bit faster but even then we're doing 480 items a minute this is a constant thing where this is since loads but this rail runner is actually quite interesting uh, it is it is a tool basically just jump up and you can click and you can just click and hold it and it'll automatically pick you up and then send you running along the line just like that then you can do the same thing here uh, gotta have some clearance you're supposed to jump from underneath it I know what I'm doing. It does work from down here. It's like that. So it's definitely an efficient way of traveling. It might come in handy when I'm just going back and forth between different plants. But today we are going to do some overtime. I have been super, super, super busy uh, crafting. Nothing there. It is this mystery box here. I have a lot of machines. Uh, I have 800 assemblers. Uh, it's four assemblers to make one Mark II assembler, and I'm supposed to place 200 of them down, so there's that. Uh, 50, or, yeah, 50 threshers, and they need four each, and 50 miners. They need four each. Now, technically, I'm already halfway down on the miners, but let's go ahead and overload. Actually, no, that's actually another thing I want to do. I do have almost a th almost 1,000 crank generators, so we're going to make the Mark II crank generators, and we're going to ramp up this power significantly. Currently, we are doing uh, 29 megawatts. Now let's go upstairs. Come on, I'm supposed to be able to jump higher. Anyway, I know what I'm doing. Anyway, over here, in this container, yay, in the back, I have an absolute ton of crank generators. Now, what do I need for the Mark II crank generator? I need processors and advanced circuits. All right, well, let me clean out my inventory and I'll make them. Okay, I'm back. And to give you an idea of how busy I am and how much time I've spent in this world, I have 7,500 advanced processors, or advanced circuits. That's a lot. Oh, that was the other thing I did too. I've been getting ready for the, the next tier unlock, and get me off that conveyor. I have 1,100 mining charges. So we can blow this blow this entire cavern to hell and back if we want it, but we won't. I'm going to go ahead and make 115 crit generators. Now there's 12 seconds apiece, so I will see you in 5 minutes. Actually, that's something we can do. I do have everything. Let's upgrade the terminal now. Well, take out, take out our bombs. And then I need was it 900 conveyors or something? I should still have a couple of thousand left. Conveyors. 1400 advanced circuits. Gotta love automation. And 2700 iron frames and copper frames through this laggy monstrosity. Uh, what was it? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Something like that. 
Let's go. I lost count. Let's go put it in there. Okay. Let's see what we need here. There's the copper. There's the iron. There's the circuits. There's the bombs. There's the conveyors. Now I just need some frames left. Some more frames. Iron frames, yes. Uh, okay. Uh, another thing I want to start working on too, and this might be in the next episode or something, is uh, I was talking about, about a, a central warehouse. I also want to sort of set up like a, I won't call it a dumping site, but more or less like a an overflow warehouse where all the excess kindle vine and limestone is going to go. Uh, I know I can just stop stop running those miners that I have over there and start using all the other limestone I'm getting from everything else, but that's just too much work. Upgrade, please. All right, let's see what that unlocks. That away. 8,700 iron frames, 87 copper frames, 2,000 van circuits, which is actually easy. 9,000 Mark II conveyors and 4,700 mining charges. Oh, we got more. We got more automation to do. Really? That means nothing else left to do? Oh. 340. Oh, I'll get a low ways on that. No, 60%. Not that big of a deal. What else we get? Nothing there. Threshing speed, mark 3. Oh. That could be a bad thing. Too late. Well, I could deactivate it, so it's technically not too late. Ooh, stack caps. Oh, I have the research, let's do it. Not uh, 75 for that one. Uh, I actually have a whole bunch of quests I could still reassign to. Uh, and I think that might be all I can do here. What's my stack size now? Four. Only one, but it makes a big difference. Uh, energy, is there anything in here I need? And then I can afford, and I haven't found that I have found that I can research, and nothing in here because this is all blocked. Uh, what's this core boost? Sure. By the way, I'm just killing time until these things are done. It might be a little while though. So, uh, let me go do something. I'll be back. All right, so here's the issue I was talking about with the thresher, and I'm starting to see it more now that we've got the threshing speed upgrade. As you can see, the thresher is not constantly running. I'm getting a backlog of the, the, the Kindle vine. Now, I need the fibers. So now the question is, do I switch that one back over to Kindle vine? Just to get it going with it, and the Kindle vine starts backing up. So this is a bit of a dilemma. So let's uh, rotate you. Rotate you that way, set you to Kindle Vine. And then I should start getting more fibers, but then the Kindle Vine starts backing up. And this is why I want to get the, like a warehouse, because I got so much of this, and I'm producing so much of it from so many different places. And that's the only way to get those plant matter, plant matter frame, or those plant, plant, plant matter frames, is that what they're called? I'm new to the game, I don't know. Yeah, plant matter frame. So, yeah, that is going to help a bit, but even then, there's just so much of that. And if I do that, and then they can't keep up taking the stuff out. Ah, dilemmas. And I just, I just messed it up. What did I say you do? Okay, you're still on plant fibers. So, okay, where did that go? Where did you go? That went in somewhere. Someone's got that. Where'd it go? Maybe it didn't. Anyway, I'll be back. Oh, yeah, there's this too. I don't know if you saw the, the containers next to the, the second Kindle line farm. Oh, limestone. I don't know what I'm going to do with it all. This is why I said, like I said, I, I might just dig out a cavern somewhere, or maybe we'll go find a 
Maybe we'll also set it all up to where the strange monument is. Just fill the entire room full of containers and just have like the stacking service just filling up rows and rows and rows of stuff and just dump it in the site there. Anyway, that's just my rambling for the moment. Alright, so I'm just looking around here trying to see what I can do about uh, this growing limestone problem. And I was trying to see what all these miners were uh, feeding. And apparently, not much. Mainly just for up here. And then uh, a little spot over here that's taking some limestone in. Oh yeah, the, the bio bricks. So I'm thinking I might actually shut this side down and we'll start using what I'm producing up here because... Uh, I am producing a lot of limestone. I can't get up there anymore. Oh yeah, up the stairs here now. I am producing... Oops. I am producing a lot of limestone here. Can't bore... Can't remember where it's coming from. Oh yes, the threshing of the ore. And there you go. And I got so much buildup of limestone there. But in this case, I think it's just more of it's got nowhere to go. Well... Got somewhere to go, but stack stackers just can't keep up. So I think I'm gonna start pulling this out of here and start feeding the stuff over here and downstairs and just shut those things off for now. So I'll go do that. I'll bring you back when that's all ready to go and when I've got 110 crank generators to replace. Okay, that should do it. It was backing up here a little bit, but now it's sort of pulling through, and I'm hoping. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter if this doesn't hold up. 100% and this one here is just going downstairs to the plant fiber. At least that'll keep this under control. Uh, that'll be another story we'll deal with later. Uh, in the meantime, I have about a hundred of these things made up already. Now, I was thinking about changing these ones. But I think we we'll go over to the falls and do that one over there. And I think we're going to take a, a monorail with us. Now, I always forget which way it is. Uh, hmm. Where the falls? <laughs> uh, I'm sure I can figure this one out. Uh, yeah, let me go find them and I'll be back. Ah, uh, yes. Follow the follow the 16-inch cable that's laying sticking out of the ground. Now for the fun part. Now, I honestly don't even know how many of these things I actually have. Uh, I think I had like a. I think I have a hundred of them. Anyway, like I said, we are currently doing. Isn't this connected? Why is it saying 29, uh, 31 here, 29 at the other end? The production here. Unless production is individual grids. No, because I'm using it here, that's weird. Anyway, uh, let's replace this. Okay, I am almost done. I gotta admit, changing these out is actually fairly easy. Go ahead and click 10 times, take them out, and hit F to get out of race mode, and there we go. Alright. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's just showing torque settings and stuff like that. Alright, what are we doing here? 76. That's actually not bad. What are we doing up here? Yeah, 77,000. So it doubled it. I thought it was going to be more than that, because uh, I was saying... Uh, that, what was it, uh, one of these is doing eight times a normal crank generator. So I'm wondering if maybe I need just need more water wheels on it. Do I have room for water wheel? I do. Let's get the lily pads out of the way and we'll throw some more down. I'll let those finish crafting, they're almost done. Uh, I can actually make three of them. Perfect. No, this doesn't have a GUI, I actually want to go off of here, I think. I still don't know what the ratio is. I think it might be closer to like 1 to 3 instead of 1 to 2 like I'm doing now. So I might be able to get more generators on here. Well, it's hard to say. It's hard to say because I really don't know. Wish this was Minecraft. We could just swim up the waterfall. I wonder if there's actually something up there. Huh. I'll have to do some exploring one day. Alright, let's get let's put a water wheel on here and see what it does. Oh 
it makes a difference. Okay. It's not that big of an issue, to, issue though. I've got so much power, I don't even know what I'm going to do with it all. 80 grand. Alright. Cool. Let's go see what it says at the other end. Okay, it did update. Now, this seems like a lot of surplus, but once we start, start actually placing these new machines, oh my god, the light, is, the power consumption is going to be crazy. Alright, so I do have 24 of these generators left. Uh, I'll worry about replacing those later. Let's get some upgrades going. How, much, how many of these things do I have left? 17. Hmm. Don't really need it right now. Okay, so I am making made the crank generators. Now we gotta make everything else. We gotta make the pressures, assemblers, and the miners. I guess I probably shouldn't have cut there because there's actually something I totally completely forgot about. The miners need accumulators. And the assembler and the thresher need voltage steppers. Voltage stepper needs what was it? Logistics, yes. Accumulators. Guess what? I have been mass producing accumulators. Always always comes in handy to be prepared. Don't need those anymore. I don't need those those anymore. And it'd be nice to have some sort of auto sorting system, but oh my god, the uh, uh, the amount the mass of logistics just to get that going would be insane. Anyway, uh, let's see. What am I missing here? Process. Oh, I actually need those iron frames. Give me. Need that. Need a whole bunch of processors. I gotta make a whole bunch of steppers now. It's gonna be a few minutes crafting all this. Uh, looking for uh, processors upstairs. So I'm gonna, I guess, uh, do a bit of an AFK session here. Get a whole bunch of crafting going on, and I'll see you when I'm done. All right, well, I'm still chugging along here. As you can see, we're still working on the assemblers. We currently have but another 65 to go. Uh, didn't even occur to me. I was trying to figure this out. I was looking at the recipes. I was like, well, why is it giving me two? And then I realized that I'm looking at the actual description of the assemblers. Assembles parts and machines at twice the quantity of handcrafting. So... Realistically, I should have been crafting all these with uh, assemblers, but then that's just like having to craft each individual part. I don't have it. Oh, well, I'd have that. But then I have to make the voltage steppers and those the voltage steppers. Yeah, I guess not terrible because I was mass producing everything on anyways. So I could have done it that way. I didn't even think about it, but it could have saved me half the time. I've been sitting for probably 45 minutes waiting for this stuff to craft and... <laughs> Yeah, anyway, uh, I am actually getting a whole bunch of these things going. I might actually cancel this and then finish it up with an assembler or something like that. But the reason why I'm doing this and a whole bunch of chests is I'm going to go ahead and start working on this warehouse uh, situation here. Because things are piling up and they do have to be dealt with. Uh, I had an issue with the limestone over here. Because this was all backed up and it wasn't producing, and I looked in this crate, and oh, what do you know, it was full. I got this one here, and, oh, uh, not that one, uh, oh yeah, this one in the back here. Which would be full in no time. So, uh, I might, I might actually get a monorail set, system set up so I can start to put dispose of this stuff. And apparently the rail runner, you don't have to have it equipped or active or anything like that, it just has to be in your inventory and it works. I'm almost thinking about dumping everything in here. Not 100% sure yet. I know there's so many areas that I need, yeah, that I need to explore, but if we go down here, we should be able to get, uh, well, let's see, do I have any power floors on me? We got five. And I don't think that's really going to be useful for figuring out how much width I have. Okay, that's five there. Uh, Uh, I could get four rows, but again, that's just like only so much it'll hold. But anyways, we we uh, get back to the crafting. I'll bring you back when we're ready to do some upgrades. And after another half an hour of AFK, I am 
almost done. I'm also realizing I should have made the voltage, at least made the voltage steppers a little earlier. I gave up on this thing. It was taking too long. It was actually faster for me to craft these things and this thing. So, yeah, uh, the assemblers are done uh, for the most part. I, for some reason, only crafted 194, not 100, not 200. Uh, currently doing the threshers. We have them not on the bar. I don't know how many I, I got here. I got nine. Ooh. Got nine so far. Ten. Ten and the drills are in process. Uh, but anyways, let's start, start upgrading stuff. Let's start. Oh, here's what we'll start in the back. All right, so I just have to make sure I have everything set to the, the right recipe. So what do we got here? We have plant matter frames. All right, we, let's get rid of that and go up to F5. Uh, make sure I'm in the right spot. All right, and then you are going to be plant matter frames. When you get resources. There you go. And you're faster. All right, and next, uh, there's nothing over here. So what do we have here? This is open full, open full. Okay, so we got copper wire. There you go. Okay, copper wire there, and then here we have we have here uh, electric components and. So, and that's your components. You get the idea. I'm going to do a, about another 50 or so and I'll bring you back. Okay, well, I think I got everything upgraded that I can upgrade. As you can see, everything is right here. I don't actually use this. This is just for testing purposes. Uh, one thing I did re notice, uh, you can actually recycle stuff in this game. Uh, take an inserter, for example. Get mechanical components out of that. Uh, we can go ahead and recycle that. Okay, it's copper wire. I don't know what we get from that. Or copper wire. But it's something that's actually quite useful. I can even recycle that. Hey, I got a scanner out of that. Cool. What do we get from the scanner? Copper wire. <laughs> of course. Anyway, uh, yeah. I still have 143 assemblers. Still have 40 threshers. And I still have all the miners left. Now... Something tells me I'm like seriously underdoing things slightly. If I, that's what I'm expecting to have by now, but you know, we'll see how things go. Anyway, uh, I wanted to see how the power is doing. Where is a battery? What are we doing here? Eh, it's about the same. Mind you, not everything's running right now, so. That is why there is uh, a lot of stuff upstairs that's not running, a lot of stuff down here that's not running. Oh yeah, that was, uh, that was all my little makeshift thing. And, uh, yeah. Uh, again, this thing, you don't actually have to have magnet, so let me take it up here. And, but it's not running up here, why is it so quiet? Did I forget a recipe? I'll put this full. And you are still crafting, so... Yeah. Alright, well... I guess the only thing left to do is let's uh, meet that quota. <laughs> let's get, get all these assemblers down. I have absolutely no idea where to put them, but... Let's go ahead and... Put them right down here. Now, I wonder if clicking and dragging works like this. No, it doesn't. Alright, uh... Hmm. I was thinking about setting up, setting up another core composer, too. Just... Because, you know, we got more research to do. Yeah, I might have to do that. I'm going to need a big area to have a whole bunch of machines. So let me work something out and I will be back. Perfect spot. I also have a lot of power floors. Let's go make a huge platform. Maybe they can make it. Light the game out slightly. And then we're just gonna go dump these down here for now. Just cause, just because we can. We got all this power, and also use it for something. All right, I gotta do that about a hundred more times, and I'll be back when um, this is all done. Okay, I'm just about done with the assemblers here. I had to expand the floor for the second time now. Uh, I got about to about 150. 
Sparks decided to say, oh, you're doing great, I love seeing this many assemblers, keep up, keep, keep, keep at it, keep up, keep up the good work. Oh, let's go ahead and keep it up. I do have a few more of these in queue, so that is something to keep in mind. And now for the Threshers, and it is dark in here, wow. Gotta watch out for zombies. Ah, uh, yeah, this would be a good spot right here. Fortunately, we only have 40 of these. They were going to call this the warehouse for now. Is the place to store our equipment? Oh, that's not going to fit in there. Hmm. Hmm. My power floors too. Interesting. Oh, I'm. I actually forgot about this old strip back here. Now let's go ahead and put the threshers back here. And what exactly are we building with all these things? Yes, build more, build more, but... What do we build with the things that we're building? That's kind of what I'm wondering, like, what do you need 200 assemblers for? You know, I, I understand it's all about, like, mass automation, but... Uh, right now, there's only so much you can build. Uh, miners are almost done, which means the last of the, the assemblers will be done. And that makes pressure number 50. Let's check our progress. I need like six more samples which are being crafted. And the drills which are being crafted. Well, let's see if there's any deposits around here. I can. I guess it doesn't really matter where I place the drills. I'll just get lazy with it. They won't have power, but it doesn't matter because you got so many resources. And if I really wanted to, I could do ore doubling and or limestone infusion, I should say. But for what? Like uh, I have access to so much, and I just have nothing, nothing I need it for. All right, uh, we're almost done. I got twenty-nine more of these to dump off somewhere. Go drop them off. Oh, a nice little spot here. Get a few of them here. Love the sound of mining drills in the morning. I want to hear more, Breaker. More. It's almost like we're unlocking part of the story by doing this. And yeah, so I'm just gonna keep on spamming these around. Waste resources, but whatever. When you have a limited resources, there's never a waste. And okay, let's see what else we can do here. More places for more drills. More drills. Keep Sparks happy. He's got a thing for heavy machinery, apparently. Kind of makes me wonder if you should be calling it. If Sparks could be considered a woman or a man. Or... I won't say an or a man, I'll just say a woman. Because technically she's just a box. Just like a uh, pallet in there. Alright, there's the miners. And three more assemblers left. It'd be nice to get all these actually running to see how much power they're actually using. Or how much power this entire monstrosity uses. All right, one, two, three, four. And wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, you missed it. Anyway, and there we go. We have completed our overtime. Which does absolutely nothing. No story. All right, well. We did we did, the did the task. The only thing that's left is upgrading Victor to tier two or tier eleven, actually, which is the final tier. Uh, it's also asking for what was it twenty? Twenty thousand megajoules. Now I'm assuming 
That means 20 gigajoules. So I'm gonna need a lot more accumulators. Just fine because I'm actually mass producing them. But anyways, uh, this was I was hoping this was gonna unlock some, uh, unlock something or trigger something or what have you, but that wasn't the case. But it'd be a good good place to call here. I have been very very busy producing a lot of machines, wasting an obscene amount of resources. I don't know what that costs to build all that stuff. All I know is I will have it replenished within a day or two. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Later.